before we get into this video, uh, for those of you who haven't seen my previous video where I announced that we're going to be starting a giveaway, uh, I'm actually going to be giving away this uh, Mystery Tackle Box 12 Days of Fishmas Advent Calendar. Um, so if you guys would like to get in on the Christmas Fishmas uh, spirit, um, you can basically check out that video and um, find out how you can be entered in the giveaway to win this bad boy, um, where we'll basically select the winner here in seven days. got him. Yeah, we got him. That's a decent one. What is that? Oh my god, it's a pike. What is going on guys? We are coming back at you with another great video here. And in today's video, I just wanted to give you all some crappie fishing tips for when you're out here fishing at the Rocky Mountain Arsenal. Now, as you guys can see, we're out here at the Rocky Mountain Arsenal. And basically, I'm just gonna show you a few of the things to target, a few of the things to look for, and um, my personal presentation that I was able to have success on today. So I hope some of you stay tuned, and I hope you all learn a thing or two. So let's get to it. All right, well, obviously we're down here, like I said. Um, I honestly haven't fished down here um, more than three times. So I'm learning every time I come down here. And um, recently when I got here, I noticed that there are textbook crappie structure right here along the dam. And basically what I mean is that stuff right there. Brush piles, brush piles, and just more brush piles um, basically throughout this area. And that is what we're gonna target. That is textbook area and textbook habitat for a crappie. All right, guys, well, that's what we're throwing right there. It's a Trigger X plastic wax tail, one and a half inch in the natural color. And as you can see up top here, I've got it rigged on a 1 16th ounce. Um, I believe that's a trout magnet or a panfish magnet jig head. And that's all we're going to use. And hopefully, um, just like I said, we're going to work through the brush piles, a uh, vertical jig right here next to them since we're on the dock, and hopefully pull out a few fish. Dang, I didn't have the camera on. We got a bass. Figure out how I'm gonna land him. Boat flip. Oh, we got him. Yeah. Crushed it on a little impulse. And uh, he got somebody else's hook literally in his throat. Sorry for this guy, man. He's, he's tiny. Not even a big fish. I'll take it. All right. Appreciate this little guy. I was just jigging for some bluegills and he came out for it, but it's my first fish out here on this day at the arsenal. And all I'm doing, same way I caught that bass, I'm just dropping right here next to structure and just vertical jigging like I can literally I can literally see my bait right now so that fish just came up out of this little pile it came up and got it got him yeah we got him that's a decent one yeah off the brush pile that's what i'm talking about that's better than the last one i have a landing issue though I'll try and get him I'll try and tire him out and then just boat flip him it's not really a great place on this dock to lift him just bring him back and forth tire him out and i'm gonna try to lift him real quick Oh, we got him. Nice, guys. Nothing huge by any means, but 
right here when the water temperature is dropping it's getting a little cold i'll take that all day i'm on a really small just little panfish presentation saw him checking that out he got it Whew, much appreciated little dude Well, I wonder if there's any decent crappies in here, but oh my god, technical difficulties. Like I said, I wonder if there's any decent crappies in here, but right now all I'm seeing is cookie cutter, you know, little two and a half, three inches right here, so thank you. That's the best one. Yes. Now we're starting to talk. That is the best crappie by far. Fish is cold, like I said. And um, I'm not sure if I had mentioned this um, at the beginning of the video, but I'm catching all of my fish. Come on. I get it out on a little um, impulse. Um, panfish jig. I'll pull it out in a second just to double check exactly what that is. But cotton all the fish on that. Yeah. What is that? Oh my god, it's a pike. Oh my god, guys, this is four pound line. Oh my god, he's gonna break me. He broke me off. Oh my god, a freaking Pike just came out and ate that little tiny bait. Damn it, there's no way I was gonna land him. Four pound line and I'm around all this structure. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Jeez. <laughs> came out and got it that's a crappie and that's a decent one i mean definitely a different size class than the um, last one that we got and take a quick picture of that one get a couple quick photos for the insta like i said you guys can follow me at 52 at 5280 fisher on instagram but beautiful crappie Oh my <laughs> Second cast. That's a better one too. <laughs> Shout out to Richard Jean. Well, this is a technique that you can repeat at any of your local bodies of water, regardless of where you are. And I mean, um, the one thing that's really going to allow you to do this technique is um, having decently clear water. As I might have mentioned, I'm out here wearing my polarized glasses so I can see through the water fairly well. And it's also a sunny, pretty clear day, um, not too much wind. So I can see right into this water right now. And you can actually see some fish. I'm just kind of cruising. But basically all that I'm doing is casting along the bank right here and um, just, oh, just like that and just waiting for them to come out and get it. <laughs> Just like that. And we got ourselves a little uh, bluegill. But it's a great little way to just catch sunfish. If you're looking to just start catching fish at your local pond, I mean, no bait necessary. All I've got on here is this little ice fishing tungsten. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the brand is on that, but at the end of this video, I will um, leave that in the link description and um, hopefully some more details as well, but let's just keep it rolling. Oh, <laughs> way out there, look at that. We are pan fishing. <laughs> These pan fish are feeding up good. Thank you. 
This is such an effective technique, guys. Like I said, no bait needed. Oh, way out there. Nice. Got one way out there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that crappie. Yeah. On that little jig. See if I can get him. I'm having a hard time getting him. Yeah. Little tiny pink ice fishing jig. Not a bad crappie. Oh my god, perch after perch. It's probably my best perch of the day right there. So it's not saying much, it's a, about a five striper. Oh, nice, there we go. one of the better crappies for this place right there on that little pink Akua jig and like I said it's a great technique I mean it catches several different species you see crappie perch bluegill bass honestly everything and just on a little tiny ice fishing jig guys I highly recommend you guys try this technique out Look at that, oh my God. Guys, look at this larger we just got. Oh my God, vertical jigging for this. Oh, this is like a nice two pound largey, guys. Just vertical jigging on this ice fishing jig. Oh, this is gonna be a problem landing this guy. Oh no, 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 he's, no. He ran underneath. No. No. Well, all right, guys, that's basically going to wrap up another great video for us down here on the channel. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And really, I just hope that some of you guys learned a thing or two about catching some fish down there at the arsenal, as this is an extremely, extremely effective technique and way to catch a variety of species down there. Um, but also, like I had mentioned at the beginning of this video, um, for those of you who did not see my previous video where I mentioned that we're going to be starting a giveaway, um, we're actually going to be giving away a mystery tackle box, 12 days of fish miss, uh, Christmas advent calendar. So if you guys would like to find out how you can be entered to win this bad boy right here, uh, please check out that video on my YouTube page. Um, but other than that, if you guys um, do not win the giveaway, um, you guys can always get your mystery tackle boxes and since this week is cyber um, cyber week you can get your mystery tackle boxes for up to 20 percent off and um, i mean if you don't want a mystery tackle box 
uh, Carl's Bait and Tackle has tons of great fishing items up to 60% off, uh, tons of great stocking stuffers. And if it's your first time uh, using Mystery Tackle Box or you're just kind of looking to get into it, I mean, you can use my code FISHINGCO to get your first box for as low as $10. And I mean, they've got bass, panfish, trout, ice fishing, I mean, you name it, inshore saltwater. Um, so really, if you're looking to get somebody into fishing, get yourself a box, uh, you know, use my code. And uh, it's a really great way to treat yourself a little early before Christmas, guys. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And you know we'll be back with another great video real soon.